Small Business VoIP 7 Brilliant Ways to Choose the Right Web-Based Phone Provider for Your Company Cloud-based voice over IP VoIP communications have revolutionized the way small businesses interact with key stakeholders, offering companies significant cost and flexibility advantages. But figuring out which provider to choose and which features to implement means making some serious and cautious decisions. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic today, and um, I'm doing wonderful. And if you're doing as wonderful as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or a vodka, and let's roll. Today, I want to talk to you. I want to give you seven brilliant ways. You were seven brilliant ways you can use actually to choose the right web-based phone provider for your company. First, number one, understand the provider's client support plan. It's very important to before you pick a provider to understand that to make sure they have a strong customer service right you can basically find out online uh, through reviews through ratings you can also ask them directly as with any products the level of service you will receive is critical to how well your service functions okay so you want at a minimum a provider that gives you 24 7 phone support for customers with planes you know with planes that run that go over several users now if you are if you own a small business and you have you are a single user make sure that you get some you get at least a 27 or a 24 5 coverage so you want somebody to be on the phone to support you if you if you need that person now if you run a global business with around the clock needs it's very important to get that 24 7 anyway right so that that's important now you want to be very specific and cautious about your ad capabilities so if you add capabilities to your phone system that means that you want more support and make sure the provider can offer that okay now a good customer support policy doesn't mean the vendor of whatever you've integrated w within your phone system will have to work you have to work with you 24 7 this is something you have to negotiate on a case-by-case -case basis so you want to explain to the provider what your business is about, what your needs are, so, so they can provide you the best day-to-day -day coverage possible. Number two, make sure the provider offers third-party integration. This is very important. If you want to have voice over IP, you want to make sure that you are able to integrate third-party software. Because, the, because VoIP is basically a software, right? So these systems can have a list of pre-built integrations with whatever apps you know the vendor believes you you will like right so i'm talking about you know dropbox google drive desk.com those are some of the integrations some of the apps and software out there so if you use these extensions you can build custom workflows to help your work flow more efficiently all right so this is very important now uh, the uh, the the thing is that part of the integration also will compel you to store an automatic recording of the call as you know a wave file that's linked to both the ticket text file and the desk.com ticket number. So whenever call whenever anyone calls this ticket record, both those files appear as supporting documentation. So this is very important. Ask your provider if they can customize integrations for you. And they'll do that right so basically you know if you ask what you ask the right question when it comes to integration they can uh, support integration api's either as extra cost options or freely available for download to you as their customer okay number three find out if call management is included in the plan this is another this is not another biggie if you own a small business and you receive hundreds of calls a week or thousands of calls a week and you are in an industry where you gotta you gotta pick up those calls remember that VoIP platform can help you a VoIP platform can help you but as VoIP platforms mature feature set become tailored for specific audiences right so you don't have you 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 wouldn't necessarily find the same capabilities even in products that compete directly with one another so if you're investing in VoIPs because it's because of its software brains that means you need to be very careful, very thorough to make sure the smart 
your business needs are actually in the products. So let me talk about one of those smarts, call management. Now, this is an, an umbrella term for almost everything the system can do with a typical phone call. For example, if you got a large volume of calls, like as I said, coming into a certain set of phone numbers, let's say you have a like you know service desk, or those calls are hitting the system at a certain time of the year, let's say during the holiday, you might need call queuing, where the VARP system can intelligently distribute calls between different extensions based on availability, geography, or other criteria right so this is very important you, another example here extension management the system the verb system not only will assign extensions to individual users it might also manage a name directory that integrate with your IT departments network directory so you're syncing two systems into one and this is very powerful I'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing fan I'm doing wonderful so far. If you like the content's clarity and quality, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell, so you are informed whenever we uh, release a new show. And we do we do so every single day. So that's good to that's good to have. And uh, comment below, share this content, and like. Number four. Figure out the provider's plans and pricing. Now, cost is very important. Cost is the most important characteristics when it comes to VARP software, right? What, what good is choosing a business VARP service with all the bells and whistles if you cannot afford it, right? So you want to really think about it. Now, the 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 um, the range as of uh, March 2020, the prices range from anywhere from 30 bucks to 75 bucks depending upon your state and your your business so you want to really um, you want to really pay attention to that now when it comes to pricing and planes you want to think about the the capabilities you add so for instance if you have multi-level auto auto attendant inbound caller ID name call recording and some identity management capabilities just as are your price will go up that's for sure right now there are, again as I said the price go over the place there uh, there is a, a wide range of prices available in the market it, it will take some research on your part to see what works for you and what you're looking for specifically to get the best for your small business all right now you have to understand that the you know if you are if you are a company that does everything from your laptops or tablets you want to pick a certain or you you want to pick a certain type of provider because those companies the providers rather can handle a high volume of incoming and outgoing calls all right now so bottom line here do some comparison shopping and find out what's best for you number five ensure the provider's security framework is strong the last thing you want is to have your your customers your callers data being there being somewhere in the you know on the internet or being uh, hacked by a third party so you want the provider security framework to be as strong as possible security is a must for every cloud-based service that's plugged into your business right so the attack vectors evolve every single day so if you have an internet connected application like VoIP one that's serving as the hub for your of your business communications inside our security measures are even more in, imperative right so how do you prevent that how do you find out if the provider's security framework is strong number one do your due diligence on vendor you want to know the, where the responsibility lies for data stored in a cloud-based service and if possible negotiate security terms into your contract Number two, you want to look for services that offer, you know, end-to-end -end encryption, encryption for data at rest if there's any, and not just basic authentication, but advanced options too, especially multi-factor authentication and biometrics, right? So, and, and the third thing you want to do also is that behind your firewall, talk to your IT staff and make sure security is top of the mind there too. It's more, it's important. It, it, it's it's it, it's useless if you are negotiating security measures with a, a provider, and your own house, your own business, you know, in-house processes are not as strong as they should be. 
make sure your on-premises networking hardware is VoIP aware and has business-grade security features available, right? And most importantly, make sure that those are enabled where they need to be. Okay, so um, it's important. Let's just also talk about number six here. Find out if the provider offers custom mobile apps, right? So we live in an era where uh, a lot of business, the 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 sheer volume of business being decided and being, uh, uh, you know, the sheer volume of deals being concluded via smartphones and other handheld devices is going up. So your your staff are, are your personnel are probably on the go at least some of the time. So you're gonna want to want a VoIP service that can travel with them right so you want to have a VoIP provider that offers mobile apps that deliver the same value and services as the desktop apps all right so make sure again you know you can review the system you can review uh, systems that offer both apple ios and google android mobile apps now of course quality va varies and so does the feature set between what's offered on the full-fledged desktop soft phone and what you'll find in the mobile client all right and you know occasionally you might realize you might find that the mobile app won't be able to create a log for this calls nor create voicemail transcripts if the call isn't answered so this will require a little bit of digging on your part a little bit of uh, shopping around on your part to see what really matters to you the kind of needs your small business will uh, will have to uh, work with and what's available there in the market i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are talking today about seven brilliant ways to choose the right web-based phone provider for your company. I've given you six brilliant ways so far. Let's talk about the seven. Make sure the provider's features can help you unify communications. Now, the buzzword nowadays when it comes to VARP A is something called unified communications, right? So your VARP service provider can, can be a one-stop shop for all your all of your communications needs and most have implemented this capability under the name unified communications as a service ucaas let me repeat that unified communications as a service so ask your provider if they have if they offer this ucaas right because what this means is that you're able to integrate your chat functionality your emails your phone calls your video calls your conference calls and voicemail within the within one app right so all so you're, you're you're able to 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 sync everything right you're able to see what's really happening in real time right so this uh, unified communication capabilities allow you also to collect data data for training data for productivity checks data about the customers you know all this is very is very impo important now you need to figure out which channels your business is using on a day-to-day -day basis to get work done so that you can establish an, a key unified communications implementation program so for instance if all you use is voice then you don't really need to worry about getting a unified unified uh, communications as a service plan right but in this day and age there's practically a unicorn so you get this every business communicates using more channels than simply voice so having a unified systems means being able to use those channels more efficiently. Okay, so you want to get a UCAS, a UCAS app, so you can run disparate systems across your, your small business. All right. So this is it, folks. Let's just qu quickly recap today's conversation. So the seven brilliant ways to choose the right web-based phone provider for your company are understand the provider's client support plan. Make sure the provider offers third-party integration. Find out if call management is included in the plan. Figure out the provider's plan and pricing. Ensure the provider's security framework is strong. Find out if the provider offers custom mobile apps. Make sure the provider's features can help you unify communications. All right, so this is important. Now, before we wrap this up, let me just give you a quick, a quick tip here. Number one, please research, research, and research. You want to know what you need, all right? You need to know what you need. So picking the right VARP plan, 
involves knowing how many employees will be making phone calls at any given time, including during peak hours, right? It also involves knowing what telephony software and hardware already exist in the office. You don't want to duplicate things here, right? And because most companies will probably just want an unlimited plan. But small businesses that only make a few phone calls a month might only need 1,000 or 2,000 monthly minutes or less, right? So the needs of a small and large business are very different. So if you know the business before, if you know your business in and out before getting an appropriate phone solution, that will help you down the road. Now, you're trying to get VoIP and VoIP means what? Voice over IP communication. So you will need to make sure the company, the company's internet connection is optimal, right? So if you, you know, if you have your, uh, your own internet, internet connection for VoIP, for business VoIP to function, you need a high speed broadband internet connection. This is absolutely necessary. So if you choose to run VoIP over a slower internet service that's already strained with employees device devices, you will wind up with choppy connections and you instead of uh, you know so you might end up blaming this on the VoIP provider when the real culprit is a burden internet connection so if you have a proper and faster internet connection calls made over VoIP come in with they will come in with crystal clear quality all right so VoIP calls will not slow down internet by an appreciable amount but they do need access to an unclogged network all right. The, the 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 last thing I want you to think about is is hardware. Don't overspend on hardware. All right. I mean, VoIP saves you a lot of money already. So you might be tempted to throw out all the old phones in favor of a, a bunch of brand new IP phones. But a lot of the time, companies can simply use what they already have. Right. Because you have to understand the analog to digital converters exist to translate the data coming through a standard telephone so that it is usable by VoIP programs. A lot of small businesses don't know that, but yes, those A to D, the analog to analog to digital converters, they are pretty good. So you also have PBX converters that companies with existing PBX hardware can still enjoy, can use to enjoy cheap VoIP prices. All right, I will see you next time. Thanks for listening to me and uh, until then, Remember, stay marvelous.